Just RNG? Just RNG? Oh, wait. Hold I don't on. know. Let's see what Cat has to say. Oh, I guess it's because it's hosted yeah. in normal mode and then just... Like, it's an RNG. She's debating wait, how much they have to play for this. Earlier? I'm super curious That's about crazy. this. As we go into yeah, the yeah. sixth yeah. map Careful here, Paper Thin and Zeger is going to be bringing you this final game of Absolute Madness, Absolute Chaos. It's a demolition derby. There are cars, throwables, crossbows, melee weapons. Uh, I don't see anybody though. That's about all you got to work with. We're good. Any UAC we're yeah, we're gonna have no crates. We're gonna have a blue circle in the field buggy. finish. I have a buggy. So it'll be nice and open for that demo derby. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen towards the end if we're gonna actually see a little bit of demolition derby or if we're gonna see those drive by crossbows. Maybe a pan kill. Maybe someone will huck it out a window. That would be pretty funny to see if that uh, managed to get hit. But, you know, we're gonna see a lot of vehicles and, um, you know, the damage is gonna go out over a period of time and we might even see some chain explosions on the vehicles towards the end you got to be kind of smart you might strategically split up your team you know you might have three players in some vehicles maybe you have one squirreled out to the side trying to take some picks off with some crossbows uh you know maybe play a little bit of position in that situation you know Cat Condi is sending uh, pretty comfortable. I think he said eight points there up on the second. So they got a little bit of wiggle room. And I think for most of the other teams there, we'll have to see how they decide to play this out. Yeah, I mean, you can convince me of a lot of different outcomes in this one. Oh, spike traps are actually, that's actually really interesting. You can throw those on the ground and it'll pop the tires of the cars behind you and potentially spin them out. So there's actually some plays you can do with that. And I'm fairly certain you can put a spike trap out while you're in a car if okay. i remember right but i haven't used one in quite some time i you don't like really often see them find much value uh but th this game mode hey uh, definitely worth a try yeah the only map in the third person perspective as you can see um it seems like some opting in for that first person you get that choice although the mode is there you do get the choice by uh hitting a hot key uh, to go first person. People play in first person for so long that they're so used to it and that's their comfortable zone. And we'll probably see that being toggled when you get into the vehicles because I think that that is probably the area that you lack the most or maybe you're playing a little bit of a fight on a corner or something to that degree. But I think with the spike traps being in the game, I think they're just going to be riddled in these final circles. And it looks like the first circle here on the northern end between the two different halves there, the middle half and the top half. So We'll have to kind of see. I don't think too many teams will make some aggressive relocations or anything in that regard. I think they'll kind of see where the uh, the next circle goes to be before they make a decision. And it looks like we've already lost one. I missed it on the kill feed and as to who that was. Maybe somebody got run over in the early part of the game trying to contest for vehicles or something. Yeah, I missed it too. So who knows what happened there. But regardless, I, it's just going to be insane. I, I mean, it's just going to come down to who can outdrive who maybe oh we got the crossbow that's huge there it is. for Terran. i mean this is look if you if you hit with the crossbow it hits hard it's just very slow to reload and uh the bullets they're the well it's not a bullet the the bolt speed is pretty low so very difficult to use from vehicles yeah i think you might see some people just take a solo vehicle and just change seats and take the pop shot when they need to and then uh, just go into the reload or something like that. We could see some plays uh, from the cars from that, but the crossbow is gonna be a big play here. If you can kind of get that early knockdown that puts you in a huge advantage, especially out in the field and especially with the cars being dominant, you're gonna wanna make sure to finish your kill because even if you knock someone in a field, someone could be cruising by and just take that opportunity to finish and, and thirst that out. Oh, he took the helmet off. He's getting serious now. In yeah. serious mode for getting too sweaty. Right? <laughs> it's getting pretty sweaty for sure. Uh, and he's got the vest on and everything, so I don't know, man. Uh, let's see <laughs> if he can if he can uh, get his team and get them caught up to first place. They're quite a bit behind, so uh, I, I, it's, I think it's going to be tough to accumulate a lot of kills in this game mode. Yeah, it, it, it feels like it's going to be challenging. And yeah, they're gonna. I think they're gonna come a little bit more unorthodox. You know, I, I hope to see, like, a throwable kill, like, uh, from the melee weapons. We saw the attempts oh. a little bit earlier there with the pan, and you see a lot of people going with the machete. I'm sure they'll pick up pans as well, but that would be kind of cool to see from one of the throwables on the melee side. But, again, you're going to have a lot of util, probably a lot of people looking for the firepower. I mean, smokes are going to come into play, but I think people are going to focus on that a tiny bit less in this one. You're going to want that firepower. Like you said, kills 
are going to come a little bit harder in this map. And I think uh, having those extra grenades, and again, we spoke about it earlier in the broadcast, the grenades are extremely heavy at some point. I'm not sure when, but they did uh, increase in weight. So that means that you can actually hold less than you could back in the day. Now, I don't know if that's adjusted for this map. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. But you can even see, I think he was holding like five grenades there. Yeah, no doubt. You're going to want to stack up the frag grenades for sure. I I'm Now that I'm starting to like think about this in my head, Zegers, I think this is going to come down to like a final circle. There's going to be about 15 oh. cars piled up in the middle of the final circle, and they're all just going to be like jockeying for position towards the center, and then the grenades and stuff are just going to start flying. I think it's going to be absolute madness in that last circle. Yeah, we saw the play last round with the c4 on the vehicle and i'm just noticing here c dome does in fact have a c4 on him so i think c4s are going to be a massive play in this especially towards the end you can play the car kind of like we saw uh which map was that vikendi i believe it was um with trying to finish out that last uh kill so i think we're going to see another few of those plays i would imagine anybody that comes by a c4 they're going to probably take it Oh God, yes! You could save that for the end game, and I mean, this could this game could literally end on a C four killing everybody in the final circle, <laughs> it really including could. the player who threw it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have some some blue zone rides and and just some some suicide cars there, just throwing them in there with the C fours. I I absolutely feel that way. Oh uh, well, we'll find out when we get there. We still have quite a while to go. Uh, before that final circle is everybody's just she's so right now bunch dreams here is just looking at the top of those containers to see if there's any frag grenades on top of them or any other uh, pieces of util that he might want gonna gas up as well to get this us a little bit more gas that's actually something that's gonna be huge is having extra gas cans uh, to make sure you have enough gas to drive your way through the rest of this game I mean, we've yeah, I like that he put it in there right away just get it over and done with it was a little bit lower. Every car, I think, starts with a different uh, set amount of gas. Is that right? It's, it depends. Uh, so it's random, uh, and it can be anywhere from a full tank to, like, a quarter tank, I think, in the normal game mode. Right, right. Yeah, so using that gas can, that was pretty um, forward-thinking to bring one in, and he was looking for uh, the the UAS there rather than the two-seater that he had. So that's probably going to be the vehicle of choice for the most part, I would imagine. Also has the trunk, so you can store something in there, extra gas, extra bolts if you wanted to. But uh, kind of a slow roll here to start. We're down to 62 players. The zone is starting to come in on phase one. Three minutes left on this zone, and I think this next circle is going to be where you start to see some people move around a bit more. Yeah, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I, I mean, you could afford to kind of spend some extra time looting and absorbing some blue damage. You won't have a probably won't have a problem finding uh, meds to help uh, deal with that damage to help mitigate it. So, definitely going to be keeping our eyes out for that. Really curious to see how Shroud and company are going to navigate all this. I think for now they're just having a little bit of fun. Yeah, I really oh, think they, they are. He's, he's just he's trying to run them over. I, I love the efforts here. <laughs> just have to, oh, oh my so, god we got a bunch of uh vehicles trying to make the kills and it's funny because a crossbow here would be incredibly <laughs> strong there's a little bit of friendly fire out shroud getting down wicked <laughs> is he just gonna finish him oh, okay okay i saw there's a pan kill from somebody on their team too so uh they are fighting early and fighting often i like it might as well go out on a bang like you said dude you know, this is a fun Way map to kind of end the tournament overall in. It's a little more loose. It's a little bit more whimsical. And what's kind of funny, in the event that we run into it, we can talk about the additional rules and the tiebreakers. And one of the final tiebreaker points is the placement in the last game of the tournament, which would be the Demolition Derby. So, you know, something to take into consideration if you're in those kind of uh, areas where you think you might run into a tie, but Go. it all boils down to this map, and we'll have to see what happens, but Pentel here just 
jumping around on the sea cans here. In. I believe there was a just play Team Terran here not too there, long ago, if memory serves correct, on kind of the north side of those sea cans. But looks like people just getting some information here, trying to get the vehicles that they want. You're going to probably see the teams run at least two plus vehicles, if not three to four. Yeah, I mean, I think you just, you have to bring four if you can. Like, if possible, you want that many. Uh, it's just going to be really advantageous in the later stage of this game though there are a lot of teams of players kind of running each other over and getting involved in fights but this team right here they still have a lot to play for they would love to get that first place and see if they can topple cat conti's team out of first as they stand there right now but already like you you can you can take the esports mode out of the game but you can't take the esports mode out of the player like pentalol is literally out there doing recon and stuff and i'm like does that really matter in this game mode that much like <laughs> Just dodged the drive by uh, drive there, and I got mixed up on that last call. That uh, it was still uh, Team Terran that was in the Seacans there, and it looks like Summit gets knocked down, and he's gonna get finished. And everybody's just thirsting for that uh, kill. And that's the thing: if you go down in the middle of a field, you can pretty much expect that you're gonna die shortly thereafter. And it looks like. They're down Summit for the final map, and I don't think he's going to be coming back here. So you're going to see a bunch oh. of drives. Will he be able to knock him down? He does. Simply Matias going down and getting finished by Shroud. That's another point onto the team. I'm not sure how many kills they're on, but they've effectively, at this point, 100% increased their point score. <laughs> no doubt about it. I mean, they're having some fun along the way, so... Nice job there, uh, knocking that motorcycle out. Now, the, the motorcycles are deceptive. They actually are kind of heavy in this game, so they can kind of spin cars out, but they got it at a good angle and knocked the player out of the seat and were able to run them over, but they do lose another player, so they're going to continue on their merry way over to Cat Conti's team, and I expect them to avoid any fighting as, as best as they can in the early part of this game. Yeah, they're sitting pretty. They don't have to be too aggressive here. And again, you know, Intel is everything. I'm sure they're closely watching the kill feed here and they know who is on, uh, you know, the different teams and what they have to be looking out for. And they're going to get a rough idea as to, OK, the team two is getting a little bit of uh, some kills here. We need to step it up type of thing. But until then, they can kind of just play it easy breezy. They can be patient with it, play more about the finish on the map rather than the kills. They don't really need to do anything uh, astronomical so just really get positioned get in deep get the utility that you want and uh, get ready for a strong finish yeah 100 uh, percent just really curious how well they're going to be able to manage it how well they've kind of thought about how uh, this late stage part of the game will go what what they've got in the trunks of these cars all those things uh, definitely going to come into play. Also, digging the U.S. skins that they've got going there. The Winter Wonderland, very beautiful there. Uh, as we look over back towards, you know, it could be interesting, though. Uh, Terran's team, who's in second, is kind of on the other side of the bridge that maybe Cat's team is going to cross. We'll see how wide they go, though. Yeah, they're going to have to move. It does look like the second circle did go north end on the uh, top end of the map there, so they will have to cross the bridge. Now, there is a few bridges that they could choose from. I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but I think there's about four-ish that you can go into the northern end with, and it does look like they pick up a Tier 3 armor, which feels pretty nice at this stage of the game, and they are looking like they're probably uh, happy with where they are, being on the north end of the water. That's really the main thing, getting across that, that yeah, bridge, exactly not um, getting caught there. I can only imagine if you took too long... You might get caught by the oh. spike strips, but you're going to see here a bunch of grenades going out. And he did, in fact, uh, cock that grenade and ended up clipping one, I believe. Well played. Yeah, no, this is uh, not going well for the team we're looking at it for cracking FPS, but uh, their opponents are feasting. They're just absolutely cleaning up some big kills there, you know, prepping those grenades. You can cook the frag grenades for a little bit on the way in. Got to be careful, of course, because they will eventually explode in your hand if you cook them too long. You can cancel uh, if you've already started cooking it. Uh, a lot of people might not be aware, but uh, you can put the grenade back in uh, as we look to maybe have a melee duel, potentially. I don't know what they're doing here. Just I looking love for more it. meds, I guess. It's just so, like, humorous about someone breaching a house with a pan out. And they're just ready to throw <laughs> down, like, with kitchenware, you know? <laughs> I mean, he's got the right outfit for it, I think, you know. Just like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
Nah, it's, it is it is amazing. I mean, you got to be ready for anything. So, good news is, is there's a little bit of extra health, and there's even a frag grenade on the ground there. So, could be pretty nice here for Mire and yeah, back over to Terran. I'm really curious if they have spotted Cat Conti's team, and if they have, if they've been able to kind of piece together that it is Cat's team. But for now, I don't see anything on their screens that really indicates that necessarily. Yeah, no, it looks like they're just trying to get a little bit of information. We see the overhead shot here showing where all the teams are. Everybody's pretty well situated. We got one up in Severny there that's just hanging out. Some people just playing the hills for right now, keeping that information strong. Nobody really having to move too much other than Wicked. He's going to have to... Uh, he has Naya, but he's got a pretty clear shot going in and around the water and even across the bridge. If he does choose to go across that bridge, though... Uh, there is actually a team on that uh, west side of the bridge that could cut him off. Uh, Hopefully yeah. he goes around the north end. We got uh, Terran here just slowly moving along here, trying to get his vehicle up and over the hill, back into the zone and back to his teammates there. They're sitting pretty on that west side. Nobody really having to do anything too crazy right now. Again, this should be a field finish, so we should see some vehicles fly and a bunch of demo crashes. Yeah, absolutely. This absolutely. I, I, we're just kind of waiting because a couple of these teams who still have a chance at winning this event are going to absolutely take the time. In the meantime, let's do some break dancing. Let's go. A little, a little break they're dance. In first, break. They're in first place. <laughs> yeah, ah, nice. And they're out in first place just like, just styling. They're, they're, this is like, all right, we're already, we already got this. <laughs> yeah, we were mentioning. I don't think they're too pressured right now. I think they're happy with where they are. They're just chilling. They're hanging out. They're waiting. They're probably, again, watching the kill feed to see when they need to move and put a bit of pressure. But for now, they're playing position. They're happy with where they're at, as you can see. Yep, no doubt. No doubt about it. We just want to chill out and see what can be done. And Greg Shot's just up on the roof, just smacking away with the pan, just... <laughs> Stretching it out. Just, yeah, just waiting. Yeah, getting warmed up, getting ready for those home run hits. Yeah, everybody's just kind of hanging out, waiting for the next circle. I think that's going to be the the biggest tell as to when people start to move again. Oh, Until then, uh, utility, utility. And you can kind of even see just with the crossbow there, happy with where you're at. Just looking for the grenades as you can. And I wonder how many people are going to have C4s towards the end. I think I only saw the one with the C4 so far, but I think that's going to play really, really big. And you can see <laughs> people do? running multiple melee yeah, weapons, and I think where that's going to come into play double. is uh, potentially I mean, them throwing it as another double. projectile that they can they're use in free. addition to yeah. their crossbow. No. Oh, my God. Exactly. Yeah, you're going to want to have it for that late game yeah. situation. I think a, I saw four, man. I, mean, I thought for a second like there, there might be... Four. I don't know what uh, there are no Panzerfaust, I don't think. Okay, so there's the Panzerfaust in the game, but I don't think it's in this mode, so we're okay there, but... I, I, I just don't know. I, I this this end game could be. You could convince me of about forty different things right now of how it's going to play out, and I believe you. It was a run over. Halifax took out Shinboy, and they're still out of their vehicles. I mean, I think it's almost a little bit dangerous though to be running outside of your vehicle. Yeah, I think it's it's easier to get run over because you obviously don't have the guns to kind of thwart people as they drive at you. But, but the key thing is if you're going to move out of the vehicle, make sure you know where the next tree is. Unlike this one, right there, Roly Poly being taken down by Shroud. He's loving this mode. You can just see it. He's just loving being able to run people over. He even got a TK earlier there, a little bit on Wicked, but I think he was able to bounce back. And it looks like Shroud's down to one player. They did have some uh, contention at that team that was at the bridge, I believe, which is what I was mentioning as uh, Wicked was coming out of uh, Yasnaya, I believe. And I think he chose the bridge there. We didn't really get to see the entirety of the fight, but Shroud in a position here. And I think he's uh, probably picked up a few kills on this one. It looks like he's going to go for some fun right there. Uh, this is more <laughs> yeah, he's looking to make any difference. <laughs> of, yeah, Avengers teammate. Yeah, he, he kind of. It's kind of hard to take damage in those situations. You're just trying to spin him out uh, and hope for the best. But there's just Terran's team as a compound. They're pretty center circle, and so they can kind of just chill for now. Love to get some kills along the way if possible, but. It's going to be kind of tricky to find those as everybody else is sort of like you can see they're already trying to figure out how they're going to play this. Like, do we try to set up for high ground and actually look for kills or what's the play here? I don't know. 
Honestly, yeah, it depends on how aggressive you want to get. I mean, a finish is a finish, but I'm sure that they're aware that, <clears throat> you know, the first place team there is uh, the Cat Conti is not uh, out of the game yet. So they know that they still need to make some sort of movement. And as it starts to get down, there's still 47 players left, so not too uh, much pressure on them quite yet. I think this is where the game starts to speed up you got about a minute left on phase four and then you're going to see where that next circle is and i think that that's where we're going to start seeing a lot more action and probably a lot of people holding on to those utility the grenades the mollies the, the bz's whatever else you may see yeah yeah let's we'll see it's just it's just a wait and see game at this point to see oh, true. Yeah, yeah. you know how this last circle is going to look what they can do with it i'm <laughs> very very curious but yeah yeah i mean this has been a great day uh for everybody a lot of fun has been had uh, even the teams that maybe didn't you know play all that great hey still no matter what you show up you still make some cash uh so yeah. definitely looking you know yeah you know, come out here have some fun that's that's what it's all about i mean i'm just happy to see shroud in there having a blast he was really into it uh not sure if he's still alive in this one or not but i mean it is oh, the twitch rivals in 2024 on PUBG. so it's a pretty uh throwback nostalgia feel with the og uh Arangal and the atmosphere in which it brings and the different weather that we may see it's been fun playing it that uh since it's been launched back on the 14th for pc i believe it was the 14th on pc and again that runs until the 28th so if you haven't jumped into the erangal space yet on pc now's your time you got the 8th and console is the 23rd to the 6th of june yeah definitely get in i mean obviously you can set up your own custom games if you want to play this mode if you want to try it out with your friends uh it, it is pretty fun there's also some other ways you can do it you can do like race modes and uh, with custom games uh, the options are endless in PUBG. so certainly get involved have some fun play some PUBG. Uh, still a great game as taryn just uh continues the waiting game continues a, a little bit of a looky see yeah, I got a six saw somebody time. out there. Yeah. yeah. was on the crossbow. Yeah. Good uh, intel and taking the shot. You know, the drop on the crossbow is pretty drastic. You can throw this set. Even so, this is going to be able to give you a lot of intel before moving. It's a pretty the position. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what the actual theoretical maximum range is on a crossbow. Uh, I'm super curious about that now that I start thinking about it. Like, these these weird game modes start having me ask a bunch of questions in my head that I've never had to ask before with PUBG. Like, crossbow, how far can it actually go? I don't know. Maybe it can go, you know, a couple hundred meters. I'm not exactly sure, but... Now, the phase five circle is there. It just is going to go into the field. So it's kind of going to be, oh, more about if you hit this, I will lose my mind. Yeah, there you go. That did not go super far. Maybe 120 meters, 120 yards on that shot. And you can see he just kind of gave up. You don't want to waste too many of those bolts. You know, they're pretty, pretty valuable right now as uh, getting a little bit of... A little bit of information, a little bit of action here on this southern side. See, don't looking for. I mean, there's no way that he's hitting that shot. I mean, if he hits that, it's like the best PUBG shot of the year. And that's true. Now, in the bicycles, yeah, the bicycles could be good here. Uh, of course, another item that got added to PUBG. Okay. Uh, you can ride those around. You can put them in your backpack. So that's a nice pickup. Fourteen cat Conti. They're sticking by cover in case there are cars that drive by them. You can run to a tree. Use that to uh, kind of protect yourself uh, from getting run over. Uh, that's something a lot of players you'll see in the beginning of games do. Maybe if you don't get the car and your opponent does first, you can just run to the tree. Just kind of play ring around the rosy. Keep those keep those trees to keep you safe. But had a little bit of trouble with Zegers. He dropped out for a moment. He should be back soon. We'll we'll get him back. Don't worry, chat. He hasn't gone anywhere. Just a uh, little bit of a tech difficulty there. As uh, they're just playing around with the car, having a little bit of fun. Again, survival, the name of the game. Of course, poor cat. They're just watching their opponents, just seeing what they're going to do. And uh, Drassel's got that machete. He's ready to rock and roll. Ready to go for the, the samurai showdown. 
And we're just really, really waiting. How are there 43 people still alive? I mean, look at this circle. It's all just cars. On the north side, just absolute mess over here. I don't even know how you're supposed to get kills, but our two top teams are just avoiding to get involved in this demotion derby. They're just hiding in the corner. Team Choco Taco might have something to say about it. Cats hey, team man, might have to make a move. Speaking of something to say, I gotta, I gotta say this, Paper Thin. Uh, yes. This is definitely the demolition derby we were hoping for. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it is about what I anticipated, that we're going to be in the late in the game with just about a million cars driving around, just trying to find some kind of space, whatever kills they can. Absolutely. I will say this has been, like, the... It's too bad that Shroud is no longer in, because this just seems like a, a bumper car delight waiting to happen and here we all have it in this observation mode i can't even imagine the kind of chaos that they're experiencing down on the ground yeah i just feel like i'm back at home at the county fair just, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> watching cars run into each other and everybody having a good time so this is definitely what you want i I'm, i want to see somebody get like a driving headshot kill with the uh the crossbows that's what i want i agree to agree that i will say the uh the machete's doing it for me to a, a certain degree, but my gosh, this is just one of those moments where I, 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 I'm not even sure quite what to think if I'm okay, being clear. <laughs> Look at it's this. Okay, me neither. <laughs> Good. Okay, cool. And it's 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 gonna be sort of the ride of the Valkyries here in a hot second. Can you see this? Like I see. I mean, like oh, here oh, we go. I love, it. I love it. Yes. Cue up. Cue up the. <laughs> <laughs> and you and, and actually you were saying that there might be some of these uh that the, the the gas is random so there might be some issues where some of these cars could be running out of gas here as they just idle in the middle of uh, the map yeah oh yeah yeah absolutely i mean if you drive around too much uh, you're gonna run out of gas so certainly a lot of these teams and players that you know kind of in the middle of the standings are just looking for kills whatever kills they can get that they might run out of gas and not realize it until it's too late having a little yeah. too much fun but now, go Cat Conti's team. They got taken out by the crossbow. Oh, they got to start moving. They're trying to protect it, but no. It's actually <laughs> it's actually Cat's grenade that takes her teammate out. Oh, no, they get hit by another grenade. This is going bad. Oh, my God. This is definitely not, the, not what they were hoping for, but it is, as Eager said earlier, the equalizer we were all hoping for but did not deserve. All right. Well, she's trying to get these heels off the bandies you can use in the cars and she is going to do so but cooking the grenade going to go for it the grenade a little bit behind i think mm, yep come on buddy let's make this happen i love it i love this this is just absolutely wild this final circle gonna be really small I, i'm still curious if anybody has a c4 left because that's gonna be huge 36 still alive here, and that circle is getting awfully close. At what point does it turn into a parking lot is my question. Yeah, no, that's it. I don't think we're too far away from that. Oh, but they're getting oh, kills. They're go. getting knocks. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. That sets them apart so much more from Terrence team. It puts pressure on them to start getting kills. Oh, I lost my tires. Man, oh, alive. My. This, is one of those, this is one of those final circles that just does not quit from beginning to end oh here we go first fire here oh it's a c4 huge explosion just got a bunch of kills now the now the grenades are really proving their their worth and everybody just trying to cook those find those moments to let them loose this is just absolute chaos <laughs> the model t i really appreciate here no claire is great but the model t really showcases some strength some skill as these uh, these cars just continue in the most random of directions, it's and it, it's also can I say paper that a little bit like shooting Whoa. fish in a barrel. Oh yeah, especially when you have C4 it just kills everybody, <laughs> and now you get three kills. All these knocks are on the ground, and you can just <laughs> absolutely feast. Oh my god, and the blue zones are everywhere. Oh, this is just uh. insanity. Everybody is dying. Oh, another C4, <laughs> but no one home for it. Nice. Oh my god, what is going on? How, oh my god, is Zeger's back? No, I'm just taking a look at Zeger. Are you back? No, maybe not. We'll see. Maybe not. No, it's okay. I thought I might have heard his voice, That's... but it, uh, no. oh my god. There's Ten not many seconds. players left. Yeah, nine players. You can probably cross I can't believe this many. I can't believe, actually, 
I thought more would be alive coming into this last circle. This is actually surprising yeah. me that there's only nine alive. Yeah, and that makes that makes complete sense, especially since everybody's just finding their way through these. Oh, there's the Donald Duck. Well done, sir. Okay, there's the model T I was looking for. My gosh, just built nine. different. Just built. Just built different. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's find out <laughs> what these last nine are going to do. And this is also something fun to remember that some of these cars, I'm assuming, are going to be, uh, you know, just waiting there, abandoned. Please no one abandon the McLaren because that will make my heart hurt. But here we are. Yeah, that, that's a little pricey. Come on. See. Oh, come on. Just What just, is? Uh, he's trying to spin him out. I think he's trying to push him out in the blue. I think wow. that's actually a strategy here now. Like when you're They're, trying to yeah. like drive cars into the wall in Demolition Derby, you're just trying yeah. to push them into the blue. Oh, look at the blue zones. I mean, just come on. Well, how are there people still alive now? There's like six alive. How many teams are left? Oh, he's trying to go over the pan. Oh, oh that he, got, was... he got hit by the molly. Yeah. Here we go. Vegas is still going for it. That team is still alive, still going. Sheaf. Oh, here we go. Oh, he got the flush. I wanted he got the that. flush. Mm. I like it. I like it. Let's see if he can find any more. He's still got 10 bolts. It takes forever to reload the crossbow, but I think it's him and three others. So maybe a 1v1v1. Oh, just say. a little bit off. Come on, buddy. Hey, boy. He's got We're this, all I hoping for you. <laughs> does, does anybody have any grenades? I don't think so. I think this is no. down to just crossbows and driving. Yeah, I was going to say, it, at what point do you start to use that car as your weapon? Oh, here we go. She pushed him in the blue. Oh, he got no! it. He got it. Vegas. <laughs> My God. The laughing oh. makes it worth it. The laughing <laughs> makes it worth it. Wonderful news for all. My gosh, if you were hoping for that kind of photo finish in the McLaren, well, I'm delighted to have gotten that with you. 